Hello guys and welcome to the Gontu series. In the last lessons of Gontu series web services, we talked about the concepts of SOAP and RESTful web services. In this lesson, I am going to talk about how we can create SOAP web services using Eclipse IDE and most importantly, I would walk you to the code that we use in creating web services. This is what I am going to do. I am going to create a calculator web services. Client will give a call to this web service by passing two numbers as arguments. Web service would add up these two numbers and send back the addition to the client. Let's start. Go to the project explorer and choose the dynamic web project. Give a name to this project. You will need a application server or a web server to deploy this web services application. So choosing a new runtime. Here you would find all the servers supported by Eclipse IDE. If you do not find the one that you are looking for then go to download additional server adapters and choose the one that you are looking for to appear in the list. In this example, I am going to use Oracle WebLogic Server 10.3 version. So I am choosing the one. Provide the server's home path here. I have installed Oracle WebLogic Server in D drive. So providing the path. And then click on finish check add project to an ER go on doing next next and finish this wizard would create the required folder structures for creating calculator web services now go to source folder and create a package with the name com.con2series.calculator Click on finish, right click in this package name and go to other. Here in other, choose WebLogic Web Service. Give a name to this WebLogic Web Service class. Con next and then finish. This wizard would create the default template for calculator web services. Now let's modify this to create our calculator web services. Our web service class is ready. This web services would accept two params, param1 and param2, which are numbers from clients and would add up these two and send back to the client. At the rate web service annotation tells that this whole class is a web service class. And at the rate web method tells that this method is open for the client, which means that client can access this function. Let's give a name to this web service. Now your web service is ready to build and deploy. Go to calculator WS, right click here, go to run as run on server. Go to next. If you have already created the domain or instance of the server that you are using then provide its path by clicking on browse button or else you can create a new domain or instance of the server that you are using. So I am creating a new instance here. So I am giving it a name of SOAP WS and I want it to get created in D drive. Click on finish and it will create the domain of the server. Now click on finish and it will deploy the calculator web service on the server. Now 
Calculator Web Service is up and running. Any client can access this web service using its WSTL. Post deployment, server would automatically create the WSTL file of the calculator web service in this location. In this approach, we created the calculator web service class first and then server automatically generated WSTL file for us. This approach is known as the bottom to top approach. There is one another approach known as top to bottom approach where the developer would write the WSTL file first and server would automatically generate the web service class out of it. You may write a client program and use this WSTL file in it to test the calculator web service. I'm going to test this web service using the direct utility provided by Oracle WebLogic server in its console mode. Go to console, provide username and password. Go to deployments. This is a deployed web service. Go to calculator program. This is the name of the web service. Go to testing. Expand calculator program. Go to test client. Enter the two numbers. Call the web service. So we have passed four and two and the web services has returned the addition of these two numbers that is 6. In the next lesson I will be demonstrating creating restful web services using Eclipse IDE.